What is up, hackers? Welcome back to another episode of Hack Crypto, where we hack our cryptocurrency, blockchain, and metaverse education. If you guys are brand new here and you want to subscribe, it is free. Hit that notification bell, hit that subscribe button, smash a like. It gets it out to more people if you're into the metaverse and educational content in the Web3 space really helps the channel. Now getting into the video, today I wanna to talk about the top new metaverse platforms out there. Now I was just in Miami, that is what these fancy little belts here are for that I'm gonna talk about in a minute. But I was just in Miami for Decentral and it was Art Basel, a lot of incredible artists there, a lot of incredible builders. I had a dozen plus studios walk up to me because I was wearing a Sandstorm shirt. They were all talking about how cool their profile was. Multiple people pulled up their phone and showed me their Sandstorm profile in real time, which was really fun to talk through what we could do better, how we could improve the platform. And if they've gotten some work through the marketplace with brands that we've connected them with. So really excited to actually meet a lot of these builders in person. Now, you're asking why I have these fancy little belts here. And that's because this was my award from 2021 for the, I believe it was Blockchain Influencer Awards. And now it is the Web3 Influencer Awards. So I got another belt. Shout out to Adam Charles out there for hooking me up. I was on a really great panel with some of my good friends in this space who also won Influencer Awards. And shout out to everybody that's liking this video and is, has been subscribed and is a new subscriber. Welcome to the channel. It is really an honor to get this reward. I know a lot of people say that it doesn't matter that much, but to me, it's just a little validator. And I made a previous video asking people to vote. A bunch of people voted for the channel. Thank you so much for the support for best metaverse channel out there. And the results, they actually came in and I came close, but I didn't actually win the top spot. I got almost this participation trophy, but it does have the channel name on there, which is really rewarding seeing Hack Crypto on there. I'm gonna try and mount these somewhere here in the studio so you guys can enjoy them from your hard work of liking these videos and being subscribed and part of the Hack Crypto community. Now, those were a lot of fun, but talking to over seven new virtual worlds in person at the Miami conferences was the highlight for sure. The panel was exciting. There was a really juicy panel with BitBoy on there where he got uh, heckled by this woman in the audience. And then they later did a panel uh, where they were kind of debating. It was a really wild time, had a ton of a ton of good conversations, but I wanted to go through a list of the top worlds that I talked to that are active, that have users going in, spent a lot of time with the CEOs of a couple of them, went out to a party, uh, multiple parties with, with one of them. And it was really a rewarding time to not only press certain topics to the CEOs and the founders of these worlds as to what they're doing and how to help creators and builders get involved. And it was really good to do it in person and to talk one-on-one uh, -on -one about that was important to me and to the community as a whole to understand where these open worlds are headed and which ones are really leading the pack on the new frontier. So the first one I wanted to talk about is Spatial. Spatial focuses on events. They've done an incredible job of integrating NFTs. They have NFT gating. And I got a, a chance to literally take an Uber with the CEO of Spatial and we got a chance to talk at their event. I went to their meetup, met with Jake and Jacob, uh, their heads of community, and got a chance to meet a lot of people in their, their actual community there. I talked to a guy uh, named Omar, I believe, who was a, a guy representing a studio. He talked a lot about the challenges of building in the metaverse and the SDK that they just rolled out with Spatial, helped him lower his timeframes from like an hour to build something down to five minutes. So it was really cool talking through a lot of the tools that he uses, talked to him about Sandstorm. He was really interested in how the different tooling that we're doing is helping builders. So it was a lot of fun at that meetup. Talked to Ready Player Me there. There's just a really cool vibe, uh, cool restaurant in Wynwood in Miami and got a really good chance to sit through an Uber ride with uh, the CEO of Spatial. We talked about some numbers. Uh, in terms of like users and things like that. And far and away, they are growing at a, uh, a an immense speed. So I think that they are one to watch uh, very closely over the next year here. 
A lot coming from them. Got some sneak peeks as to what's coming and really excited to see what they're building with events and focusing on events in the community side. On Sandstorm, we've had uh, over 50 builders just self-identify as spatial builders. And it's really incredible to see that community growing organically on the marketplace, looking for work, trying to build these spaces out. And it's just really impressive uh, to see what they've done there. So that was cool. We went to the NFT Now party, me and the CEO of Spatial. We got in, walked around, and he had to go meet with uh, a couple other uh, virtual worlds. So basically, we got a good a good t- a chance to talk through what's coming for the metaverse and uh, collaborations and so on. Monaverse is the next one. I got a chance to go to their event. Uh, it was a really cool event on the uh, beach. Really cool installation that had all these mirrors and everything like that. Took a picture with the uh, the guy there it was a lot of fun um, talking through the art and the installation and everything like that. We have seen a huge spike in builders coming on to the Sandstorm marketplace that are interested in Mona and developing there. When I got off from my panel, actually from winning the award, uh, the CEO and founder of Mona was there and we got a chance to chat really briefly uh, backstage but really cool to see what they've done and how they're developing out their very artistic focused kind of event spaces in Mona, like a lot of art galleries. So it would make a lot of sense why they had such a big presence at Art Basel. And that leads me to Over, uh, Over the Reality. I got to meet with uh, Diego there and had a chance to go through their app actually at their booth at DecentralCon. And it was really fun to see AR right there happening with NFTs. We put up a little basketball hoop and you could shoot basketballs into it and earn tokens. So it was a really cool experience. They are a very impressive technology platform. I'm very bullish on what they've done, what they've created. I've mentioned them in videos in the past, but I think that they are uh, about to be huge over the next year or two because of the technology that they've spent all the effort to build out on mobile, and they are really doing some cool things with AR that a lot of other platforms are not focused on. So we have our spatial, got a lot of lot of FaceTime there, good time chatting with them. We have Mona or Monaverse uh, that was really fun to, to meet some of their team and get to know them as we've seen a lot of builders signing up that are interested in them. And then we have Over, we have a lot of AR, VR builders on the platform being partnered with Immersed VR, you know, we we do have a lot of AR, VR uh, developers. Those were the three that I got to meet in person, talk to, and really explore more about their technology, their roadmap, what's coming, and get to know their their founders. Um, Founder to founder conversation is always a really good way to get to know uh, what the, the vision is. So next up, we have Portals. Portals is super cool. I've been following them closely. Our team has been uh, chatting with them a bit at Sandstorm, but they are doing some really cool things. A lot of great technology there. And as far as I understand it, there is a voxel component, which would be a huge win uh, if, if they really chose the path of voxel as their main file format focus because of the level of builders that Sandbox has sparked and at Sandstorm, what we've sparked with voxel creators. So I think that that's a really promising one. The other side has come up a bunch. Uh, my boy over there, Jay Chains, he was on stage with me. He got an award as well. He's done an incredible job of nurturing you know, this uh, metaverse expert position across all of Web3. And me and him had such a good time talking through some of the uh, upcoming worlds, which ones are doing cool things. And me and him got a chance to connect with TCG World, our partner at Sandstorm. And they updated us on some of the things that they're doing. A big, big portion of their team was there. So I got a chance to connect with them. IRL, that was really cool and talk to them. But the uh, portals platform, the other side was really uh, a lot of conversation around that. And I haven't seen much. I've seen some demos of what the other side would look like and how it's kind of being developed. But Nobody really knows when that would be coming out because people kind of want to snap their fingers and have this stuff live, but it's just not a reality of how development works. So I think that's pretty far away in terms of a beta or an alpha or however they're going to roll it out. But I am excited to see what other side does. Gala Games or Gala is another project that has been around 
I have seen some crossovers in terms of collaborations that they've done with uh, other worlds, getting it online, like spatial and stuff like that. So I am following Gala closely. I don't really believe that there's that much positioning for builders and tooling yet for them to create assets within Gala. But uh, there was this crazy rumor going around that they'd been hacked and that their accounts had been drained of all the Gala uh, a while back. They got debunked. Luckily, it was uh, fake. It just spread around wildly. I mean, I I saw it and was like, oh man, that's intense. But their price collapsed and it just got really chaotic. So uh, that got debunked, fortunately. Next one is VR Chat. I met with a really cool development firm based out of Hong Kong and they were focused a lot on Blender 3D. Uh, they're on Sandstorm and they were very interested in VR chat. They were like, hey, what brands do you know that are interested in VR chat and Horizon Worlds uh, with Meta and everything like that? So I got a chance to really dig in with them at the Atari X event. So I went to Atari X, met up with a couple different studios. Uh, people were taking selfies with me. Uh, that was really fun from the community in Sandstorm. And seeing people interested in VR chat is very compelling because VR chat's been around for a long time. And hearing that they're building in that, focused on that, and migrating from things like Decentraland into VR chat and spreading across was really cool to see. There's more cross world compatibility, which is exciting. And that's one of the things that we focused on at Sandstorm is making sure that people are cross world focused, they're cross, cross world building actively. And if they're not, we're trying to make sure that they learn how via our streams from different streamers that we work with. So on top of that, of course, you have Sandbox. I got to meet the CEO, Arthur, at their event in Miami, talk to him briefly about you know the event and, and how, how they're doing. And they have a huge presence at Comic-Con in Argentina right now. And they're just always throwing huge bangers, like huge, huge events. Blondish was DJing, and we were there meeting with a bunch of people uh, that are on the platform and getting to know them in person was really cool. And just a really great vibe at that conference or at that concert. So got a chance to meet with Arthur, the CEO there, and uh, Decentraland had a couple meetups, met a few builders from Decentraland uh, that are on Sandstorm. So that was really cool. And Space, of course, was talking about Space quite a lot there because when brands are talking about getting in, I uh, met with a couple Fortune 500 companies there and in Miami, and they were saying, how are we gonna use this? And things like space where you can have an immediate way of selling goods virtually is a, a virtually unexplored platform for brands. So talking to them about coming onto the platform using builders that are verified to build in space is a really compelling way for them to utilize the, the virtual world. And of course you have Immersed uh, working very closely with the team at Immersed and there was a lot of uh, conversation around VR, work in VR, and I brought up the fact that you can create a work experience in Immersed and really work uh, in VR uh, with a couple of the brands we were talking to. So very cool conversations. It was awesome winning the second year in a row with the awards, uh, now the Web3 awards, but I am just very, very bullish on the worlds. I think there's gonna be hundreds of these, if not thousands, by the end of next year. I'm talking to about a dozen currently. The Sandstorm team has about 30 or 40 uh, lined up to talk to and are working within different capacities. So there is a lot of movement taking place on the metaverse front, regardless of what the price is doing on these markets that have been created. It's very important to know that builders are gonna keep building regardless. So a lot of momentum going on in the virtual world space. That's it for this video. I wanna just get you guys updated on the conversations I had in Miami. It was an awesome trip. I'm excited to go back. The next big conference that you can check out Sandstorm at is CES. We have a booth at CES this year in January, and I'm super excited to have the team out there. I think we're gonna have seven or eight people from Sandstorm there, walking around Las Vegas, 
talking about everything the metaverse and representing thousands of builders on the marketplace. And that is it for this video. If you guys are interested in checking out uh, the booth at CES, check out the website in the description below. Also, all of the virtual worlds that I talked about, spatial, monoverse, over the reality, portals, other side, Gala, VR chat, TCG world, Decentraland, immersed sandbox and space. Those are all going to be on the Sandstorms Discord. There are people on there talking about it right now as I'm filming this all the time. There are people talking about these worlds on there and the different file formats and different ways of getting involved. So definitely check out the Sandstorm Discord with the link in the description. And I will see you guys here on the next episode of Hack Crypto.